Hi there, I am Tomasz Odzilio from musictheoryforguitar.com and today I want to talk to you about some advanced way you can use your pentatonic scales on guitar. Now we all know the basics of pentatonic scales, I mean everybody knows the basic uh, box pattern. It's probably one of the first things you've learned on guitar. So let's do something more interesting with this box pattern. Uh, and let's take a couple of examples, okay? Let's start immediately. Let's say you have a chord progression in A minor, okay? Which means it's simply a chord progression with, all, with some of the chords in the key of A minor. And uh, if everybody will explain to you that if you have this kind of chord progression, you can use the A minor pentatonic on it, and it will sound pretty good. <laughs> minor pentatonic case sounds pretty good. That's a standard application and uh, I mean if you do it nobody will tell you anything. It's a standard application, it's correct, that's no problem. But you can do more in order to sound better. You can use the E minor pentatonic scale instead. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking but if the chord progression is in A minor, why should I use the E minor pentatonic scale on it? It seems like I'm using the wrong scale. Okay, and well, in a sense you are, it's not the same as the scale of the, of the key, but it contains all good notes for the key of A minor. Let's see it, okay? If you examine the box pattern for the A minor pentatonic scale, you find the A minor pentatonic contains the following note, A, C, D, E, G, and then it repeats A, C, D, E, G, A, C. If you take the E minor pentatonic scale, which is the same box pattern at the 12th fret, and you see what notes are inside here, uh, you see that we have the following notes E, G, A, B, D, and then it starts again E, G, A, B, D, E, G. Now, if you write down those uh, sets of five notes, uh, you discover that, in fact, the E minor pentatonic scale and the A minor pentatonic scale are really close to each other because they have only one note of difference. The difference being that the A minor pentatonic scale has a C inside it, and the E minor pentatonic scale does not have a C but has a B instead. Now, B is still a good note in the key of A minor because the key of A minor contains all the notes of the pentatonic scale plus other two notes, B and F. So, the fact that the E minor contains precisely one of those two notes, it's good, means that uh, if you play the E minor pentatonic scale on any chord progression in A minor, it will sound good. nobody forces you to use only the A minor pentatonic or only the E minor pentatonic. Uh, in the best way, in fact, it's actually to mix them, meaning make some phrases on the A minor, make some phrases on the E minor. The problem is that if you use them in their root position like we're doing it now, uh, you have to jump back and forth all to the fretboard and this is not really convenient. So the best way of doing this is to uh, find the two pentatonic scales in the same position. Now, we have seen before that the E minor pentatonic scale is simply the A minor pentatonic scale, but the C becomes a B. And that's, so it's, it's pretty easy to do, because we just play an A minor pentatonic scale, and every time we meet a C in the scale, we play a B instead. So you see, rather than having A, C, you have A, B. And this is what's happening. So I have the E minor pentatonic scale right here, and I can start uh, uh, mixing some phrases in A minor and some phrases in E minor in the same position, and this sounds quite good. 
Let's start with A minor. context where the A minor pentatonic is widely used and this is if you have a, a blues chord progression. Let's say you have a blues in A with a standard chord progression contains the chord A7, D7 and E7 and the standard way to play on E, the one that is thought most common, commonly, is to play the A minor pentatonic scale on E. Now, the A minor pentatonic scale is actually the wrong scale to play on E for a number of reasons we're going to see later in this video. Uh, and in fact, uh, many professional players like to play other scales, uh, especially on the A7 chord on, in this blues. Uh, but one of the possible mm, things you can do is actually to play, as we were seeing before, the E minor pentatonic scale on a blues. Let's see an example. <laughs> using a different pentatonic or a chord progression will actually work in any key. Uh, let's see how to do it in every other key. Uh, the, the best way is this, you simply play the pentatonic scale, that is seventh fret, above the one you will normally use on this chord progression. So, say you have a chord progression in C minor, you will normally play the C minor pentatonic, then you go seven frets higher, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then the standard. Uh, pentatonic you would use, and you find a G minor pentatonic scale, and that's the one you would use instead than the original one. So we have seen a, the first basic trick right now. Now there are other two uh, slightly more advanced tricks I want to show you. One is to alter the pentatonic in a specific way so that you have a, a different set of notes that still sounds good, and the second one is going to be um, how to shift the pentatonic the same way we did it before with the E minor pentatonic but over a, mo a modal chord progression in Lydian. So, let's see them. 